Hi there. Welcome to Tech Talk Weekly. I'm Bob from Creation Station. This is our weekly show where we give you four, probably four every week, uh, interesting tech topics to talk about and get you on your way in about 20 minutes or so. Uh, if you are subscribed on our YouTube channel, watch out. It's your, We're changing channels. You'll have to resubscribe after next week. Mm. But before that comes... Susan, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. It's a nice Thursday here in Fort Lauderdale. So it's like oh, nice. It's, like I give you. That's great. excellent. That is an excellent thing. So tell us, mm. you work here at Main Library and you're in charge of Creation Station business. So right. to speak. Tell us about that. Oh, well, Creation Station business is for our entrepreneurs and people who are doing business and they have a special space just for them. And we have um, two little meeting rooms and we have a conference room in there. We have a poster maker um, and we have an excellent um, librarian. Um, he's our main librarian, Frank, who knows everything and will help and it's very helpful on yeah. business resources and helping you guide your way. And we offer programs. All so for free thing. at your library. Free at the library. Free co-working space, folks. And a nice view. <laughs> Fourth floor overlooking downtown. It's really nice. It is. It's, it is it's nice. pretty awesome. It is a good nice thing. seating. But you you're the one who brought up weather. I'm blaming this one on oh. you, Susan. Okay. Because I did. it's nice right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's happening is El Nino. Now Everybody usually hears about El Nino, which is a high pressure format, which sl slows down hurricanes. We talked about it last year and the year before because we had a really big, strong one. Hurricanes have not bothered Florida tremendously, sort of. I mean, when they come, they're bad, but we haven't gotten lots of them. Except this year's going to be different. I'm a little afraid. Are you, are you, are you ready for the season? Bit. Well... Because I've been here, I just, uh, March 20th, oh, I just passed my anniversary of being here for oh, 18 nice. years. Nice. I came right after the bad one 18 years ago. Since I've been here, it has been minimum yeah. on hurricanes. That, that, was, that was a bad year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That, that was when Katrina and Wilma and everything. Yeah, that was insane. Right. But I've been skating for the past 18 years and haven't had a bad experience. But reading this article a little bit, uh -huh. I'm like, yeah. uh-oh, because, you know, we'll be helping with shelters. Yeah. You know, yeah, and things yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. And yeah. We'll for anybody people. out there who's not from South Florida area, uh, Broward County Libraries, all of our uh, managers help run the emergency shelters during hurricanes. And so we all pay attention really, really closely mm -hmm. to what's happening in the tropics and what's going on. So what happens is, and you can see this bright blue dot here out in the Pacific. And I know you're like, that's out in the Pacific. You're, you're yeah, worrying about tropics. the Gulf Stream. <laughs> everything gets sucked around out there in the upper atmosphere. So pay attention to this and watch. If you're anywhere on the Gulf Coast, in so Texas, over to Florida, and up the East Coast of the United States, pay attention because it's going to get bad, which means the reason why it gets bad is because it, it doesn't warm up the waters more, but what it does do, it lowers the wind shear in the upper atmosphere, which is what tears apart hurricanes faster. And because there's no upper atmosphere wind shear, that means the tornadoes on the front side are more intense. So it's just like, please, can we just, you know? Yeah, see, I'm from Arkansas, so we have to watch out for t tornadoes a lot. Mm -hmm. And here we get a warning on hurricanes, but if you're spinning off tornadoes and they're not known, you know, it's like, eh, maybe. So it's a little bit more scarier. Um, but I was looking at the map and all the different streams. Yeah. And it's like, ooh. And we're lucky. Not Florida, the mm -hmm. East Coast, more lucky than in the Gulf. Yeah. And the, our Western Coast has yeah. gotten it a lot. And, so and we'll see how this year goes. Yeah. Yeah. And I did, I highlighted this because it's so rare that the comment section has really good pithy ones, but it's like, yeah, it doesn't really matter how bad, whether it's El Nino or El Nino, need house one. insurance is still going to get bad. Yeah. I read that too. I was like, yeah. It's like impact windows time. <laughs> it's, it's a mess no matter where you go. But. It is. And it's the damage. It's the wind damage. Even though if you're not in the floodplains, 
And it's yeah. it's important to get all your stuff inside your yeah. house if yeah, you yeah, have yeah. porch and um, patio furniture mm -hmm. and debris and trees and you know things and like we'll, that. And we'll put a link in, at the end of the video for you to our Christian Station monthly for February where we did talk about weather and we talked to Weather Mike who is in charge of uh, displaying a lot of those spaghetti model stuff. So it's a good it's a good thing. But now hurricanes are a bad thing. But just think, if you had an asteroid hitting you too. <laughs> All at once. I know. And this is one of those headlines. I'm like, this is a deceiving headline. Not because of what a potentially hazardous asteroid. It's actually the idea that this thing has all the building blocks of life built into it. So this is the mm -hmm. asteroid mission from last year. We brought it back. You can see the picture here. This is all that dirt and dust that's on the outside of the chamber when it came back. It, that's stuff that didn't even get captured inside. This is all stuff that just was so much of it there that it came with it. Then on top of that, they found all of the basic building blocks for life, including hydrogen, right? Hydrogen and basic protein stuff, the stuff that builds proteins. And we're not trying to play that video. Yeah. And the, it's like golas golasronite, glass. Yes, yes, yes. Phycosilicates, sil silicates. Simple emo mass. In, yeah, in general, this asteroid's not going to hit Earth. Don't worry about that. But if an asteroid like this, did hit earth one it would do a lot of damage but two it has all the stuff to bring f alien bacteria to earth that's which, one way to look at it <laughs> yeah well, it's going to be really crazy which is one of our really crazy things that w they're starting to figure out now okay what's here what's not what is actually active and what's not and all the scientists are going crazy on this for two reasons one this proves that there's the building blocks of life are out there in the rest of the universe. It's not just on earth. But right. So that's why yeah. I was thinking that, you know, one of the theories is that asteroid hit us or yeah. I watched way too much science fiction. No, and, no, 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 no. That, that is a very valid. Yeah. Yeah. You know, makes a chain reaction and then life. So if this asteroid hit another planet, yeah. maybe not in our solar, solar system, that's, you know, that could have the potential to have life. There you yep. go. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. It's, it's craziness. And the other idea is of why they're so excited about this is because whenever scientists get to investigate meteors, meteorites, it's a meteor while it's falling through the sky. It's a meteorite when it hits the ground. <laughs> that gets melted in all that heat. This is These are rocks that have not been touched by anything. They were protected when they were brought back down in the capsule. So let me, do, I, do I have a picture? Yes, we do. There's there's a picture of the capsule that came back. Yeah. So all of these rocks are pristine. None of them are melted. None of them are overheated. This is exactly what it was like out in deep space. So it's a great, great thing. So well, the scientists right. are out there super excited about this. And it seems like all the elements, there wasn't a new thing. Everything has been identified as far as I could tell. Yeah. There wasn't an unknown element. Correct. So I find that kind of fascinating. And I also think, you know, in the future, like, like the sci-fi stuff is like mining stuff from mm -hmm. asteroids or things like that. We you definitely know, how will can you be. Capture yeah. Them? yeah, we will be doing all of that. This just proves, you know, the logic stuff out there is working really well for us. But there's one other environmental thing we got to talk about. Uh oh, I know this one stinks. Literally. Yeah, this one's this one's scary. Literally, this is more so, scary to me than asteroids health... and hurricanes. What? Yeah, they do exactly. a little bit of damage. You know when a hurricane coming, and we'll know when an asteroid's coming. We might not be able to do anything, but we'll be prepared. This is something. This article is way more scarier. Seven countries because... on the planet have healthy air. Seven. It's craziness. Seven. Yeah. In the pre-show, that Susan and I were talking a little about this, and Susan was trying to say, "Well, it's not quite fair for like Canada because 
it's not their pollution, it's their wildfires. And I'm like, no, that's still pollution. It's just natural it is, pollution. But <laughs> it wasn't instead of smoke it was a natural, from coal. Yeah. Instead which, of smoke from coal, it's smoke from forest fires. Both of them are gonna really hurt you. <laughs> but is it, that is true. But the fire okay, of course I'm not a scientist and I or we I just play one on research. TV. Yeah, right. I can look it up for you and find it and go find your article later. Um the, the thing is, is that the fire, the wildfires happen, it excavated their thing for this year. But mm -hmm. I think over time, they'll go back to normal, like yep. reset. Whereas when we talk about China, India, uh, they have to actually start changing behaviors yeah. Yeah. to make this. And, and it's hurting us in our lifespans. And what's really scary is that some other countries doing something and it travels. Yeah. It doesn't stay. Yeah. It doesn't it care not where your boundary right there. is. It's yeah. everywhere. It does not matter where your country boundary is. It's going to go, which is why Australia and New Zealand came out as two of the seven countries because they're in the far Southern hemisphere. Australia is good. So they're not letting the winds blow the, blow pollution over to New Zealand and vice versa. So it's really good that way. I thought it was interesting. Grenada in the middle of the Caribbean, Grenada is the only island with healthy air. Like, you, but it's because of the jet streams, right? It's the, yeah, it's the wind yeah, patterns yeah. that help and that do Wouldn't that. you think we've got all those other islands there. Someone would have something you know i just i, I i'm just it, it's more disappointing than anything and it's oh that because, there's only seven well it, I'm, we're not I'm kind listed? of just well we're, mm. that's the problem the united states is not listed because governments need to do stuff and you need to go put in regulations and put in things to say no we're going to stop this and it's not even so much what as you brought up the fires in Canada, those were things that were affecting New York State, Pennsylvania, oh, yeah, yeah, all yeah. of New England last summer. So we need to do this as a broad thing across all of the continent, not just the United States, not just Canada, not just Mexico. Everyone get together and work on this. Or else our kids, our grandkids, etc., will just be growing up with asthma, period. And right, and respiratory, a, other yeah. respiratory issues. I said, we know it's coming. Just, just fix it. It's mm, not so that complicated. So, tweak here and there has a big I impact. Know. We need to, you know, rethink. We have renewable energies now. We're getting, we're getting closer. Yeah. I mean, but that's we, a, that's we a story that did not make the show run of show. Oh. The EPA is going to put out something this afternoon. I think it was this afternoon or this morning. Uh, some new regulations on hybrid cars. Yeah, Try but it's stuff. getting it to. It's hard. I know to rethink, and it's not going to take away money. It's not going to take away jobs. They'll just be different. That is a great segue. Thank you, there, Susan. Because it's not about money. It's about how you think and what you want. So tell me, how much <laughs> do you think you want to pay to not have Facebook track you? See, I compared this to streaming and not wanting to watch ads on Hulu. Yeah. And so I pay the extra because it's like yeah. I don't have the patience. That's the whole point is I want to zip through and binge. I don't want to have every two minutes. Uh, well, ad. so so let's cover this really quickly. So in the <laughs> EU, in the European <laughs> Union, like Union, there is a rule. Facebook meta cannot track people without their permission. Mm -hmm. So... What Meta, Facebook, has chosen to do is say, we will have a free standard version of Facebook, just but like it's running there right now, just like it runs in the rest 10. of the world. We are going to track you and give you the ads we want to give you. Or you can pay us 10 euros. A month. A month. Right? Yeah. 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 10, 10 euros and a month. we won't track you. Now, I think you missed the last part of the next paragraph is, they're still going to give you ads. You're paying 10 bucks so they don't track you. You're not paying to not get ads. Oh, so I won't get specialized ads. I'll just get you generic just get ads. Ads shoved in your face also. Yeah. 
because personally, if I go to Amazon and I um, somebody's having a baby shower, guess what shows up in my Facebook yeah. page? Uh-huh. I don't have kids and I don't have, <laughs> I don't need that. I just wanted uh-huh. to look for something to give somebody a gift. It's not yeah. an ongoing thing. And now I have a barrage of ads. Yeah. And now for the next six months, you're going to be uh, getting mm-hmm. baby, uh, getting diaper. <laughs> right. Ads. Yep. Or looking up for something for somebody else just as an interest. But you know what? I like the European Union because they crack down on a lot of stuff. Yeah. And then it filters kind of over here because they did the same thing about, um, I know it's a tiny bit off topic, but Apple, you know, all our cords, um, chargers yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having to go to USB-C. I think EU made it all like, we're having one. You guys need to stop this. And EU is kind of like a little bit more of a leader. And things like it this. It is. Right now they are. And I appreciate that yeah. because I think that makes us better. I, I You can't have stuff for free. I mean, I, it's nice. There so, is I mean, not, right, it's not free. If you're not paying for the product, you are the product. You, so, yeah, you're paying. What, you're either right. giving them your information or you're paying with, with dollars to do it. Right. But it's like, you know, Facebook, they do a service. So, and, and like TV, it's like they have ads, Mm -hmm. but the generic ads is different than tracking you ads. Yeah. So do you begrudge the, you know, I don't, but that's going on a level of everything I search. So you and people don't realize that nothing you do on the internet is, is private. Right. And they're going to make extra money off of you doing this. And it's kind of, they're not paying me for my money. I'm giving it for free. I mean, they're not paying me for my information. You know, I'm a free focus group. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that's a little uncomfortable. Well, so far, the regulators have been negotiating back and forth. And even before the hearings, Facebook agreed, oh, well, maybe we could knock it down to five. Oh, five dollars. Yeah. Oh, they're bargaining with the money. Yeah. No, no, we just don't want you to track us. How about that? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, why yeah. don't you just stop tracking and, and us? At, at what point does it make it so that Facebook just stops giving the service because they want to track people so badly that they? Well, can't. it's not going to do them any good unless they're they're going to branch out into they'll drop Facebook and do Instagram. Now, I'm not much on Instagram. And I don't know how much the ads are or if they pop up because yeah, I, I don't they pop post. Up. They pop okay. Up. So then Facebook is going to go out. Thread's been kind of clean, but it's going to get messier soon. Uh, there will be stories on threads in the next couple of weeks, folks, because they just had a big conference about some of their stuff. And once it actually happens, because we don't talk about maybes, we talk about real things. Mm-hmm. Then we'll talk about it on the show. Okay. But Susan, yes, you've got stuff happening at Main Library. Oh, we always have stuff happening at Main Library, because um, next week, um, the twenty seventh, um, I hope that people can come and join us. It's healthy living, a nutrition class, and it's um, sponsored by uh, Feeding South Florida, and they're actually going to come here. He's a, a registered nutritionist, and they're going to do a demo uh, sample on healthy eating. It's at six o'clock. On the um, 20, it's a Wednesday, it's a Wednesday mm-hmm. night, and it is going to be on the first floor and the multi purpose room. And I hope you guys can join us. I think it's a worthwhile event, it and, definitely is. Yeah, yeah. um, I mean, and we want to offer more programs like that. So the more two, people come, the more three, times four, we can have this kind of thing, five. exactly. I mean, yeah. and there's there's five other programs that day alone here at Main Library. We have six floors for the public and plus two floors for administration and library systems and all the other people's here at Payne Library. Right. It's a big building. we got plenty of space to do these programs. So right. come we'll, show we'll up. Want you to come. They're fun. Yeah. And don't forget our big O in April 10th, our oh. 50th anniversary this here is at Maine that, Library. Yeah, yeah. Every and we're day, having yeah. disco theme. We'll have bingo. It's, you know, if so you were in South Florida, it's a thing. Yeah. It's and a very we'll big thing every library around. week. Yeah. So you it's need to come visit fun. us. See, you got stuff for you to do, folks. Come on out. Well, Susan, thank you. So- oh, yeah, I should throw up our last slide here. As always, if there is a 
library or a librarian you want to see featured on the show, reach out, creationstation at broward.org, and we'll try and get them for you. We'll see everybody next week. Thank you, Bob.